Welcome to Matters Financial and Geopolitical from a Frontier. Thank you for stopping by. International markets party like it's 2015. China's stock market is up again today. It's rallied more than 20% since the beginning of the year. Currency markets, euro dollars at 113, the figure. Dollar index is at 96.91. Japanese yen, 111.88. Japanese yen has been leading the, the way for the last few sessions. Swiss franc, 100.48 last time I looked. The pound, 131.47. The Australian dollar, which is having a terrible session, 0.7025. I've been bearish the Aussie dollar for eternity, but I think now the fundamental data has become overwhelming and my target is 65. India rupee strengthened 70.651, South Korean won 11.29.25, the real 377.58, Egyptian pound 17.471 and the rand 14.2140. Pine cone macro who I follow on Twitter says the dollar index is nearing its 10th red zone appearance and I, for one, am expecting it to move beyond the red zone now. Euro dollar stays res quite resilient, 113.02, but it's going to break down, and when it does, it's going to fall big. Australian GDP, 2.3% versus 2.6% estimate. Year-on-year -year GDP, quarter-on-quarter, 0.2 versus 0.3 estimate. It's fallen to a two-month low and I think we're going to tumble through 70. I'm very bearish and actually my target is sub 0.65 on that. Goal, let's have a look, 1286.32. Um, everyone had gotten very bulled up at 1340, I remember thinking it was going to come tumbling down and everyone was very skeptical. Crude oil, let's have a look at that, $56.38. Um, Trump has so far capped it, but he'll probably have to do more work to keep it here. Indian rupee, this is a chart from Pinecone Macro, it's recovered from this Indo-Pak standoff, 70.651.